I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm going to uh, work on the list of things that uh, people commented on my last movie. I asked people what would be the first thing you'd put in your pack if you were going to pack for a three-day hike, and uh, I got a lot of responses. I've got around 70 different things, and I, I grouped them all up because a lot of them were repeats, and, and I'll just get down through them real quick here and just have a little fun with them and see what we got. Uh, <clears throat> A lot of people said a sleeping bag, and I thought that myself. That's that's one of the things I really wouldn't want to forget, especially in the evening if it was cool. Sleeping bag is, well, it's just warm and fuzzy. It's a nice thing to have, and without one, you're basically not going to sleep. A shelter, first aid kit, socks, knife, all items that are, are very important. Uh, clothing, fire. Uh, survival kit, I wouldn't particularly have thought of survival kit, but I could see that. Uh, tarp comes in real handy. Uh, map and compass, yep. Uh, trash bags, those can come in real handy. Uh, cigarette lighter, which is, again, fire. Uh, baby wipes, now, not sure on the baby wipes, but, yeah, that doesn't mean that's, it could be a good one. I just never carried baby wipes. I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. Uh, food, water. Condoms, of course, you know, they have four or five condoms. <laughs> air, yeah, where I go, they have air. If they don't, I don't go there. Uh, bear canister, don't don't carry one, but I haven't had any trouble with bears. If I did, I'd definitely carry one. And a water filter, which goes without saying, and that's a good thing to have. Now, <coughs> uh, what's the first thing you put in your pack is totally relevant to uh, your area, your condition, your experience and what you've forgotten in the past. I try to uh, put the least obvious things in my pack first because I tend to forget them uh, later on as I get <clears throat> all involved in getting everything in there and getting it just so. I sometimes forget some fairly obvious things. Now, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, putting the pack together for the fall of the year and I left that out. I should have mentioned that. But for me, uh, this time of year, when it can rain anytime and it's cool, quite cool, and windy, uh, one of the things that I absolutely would not want to go without would be <clears throat> a raincoat. Good tape seam, vented, wind-resistant raincoat. Because uh, if you're out and you have a rainy day and you don't have a raincoat, I, I, don't, I don't think I'd want to hike with regular clothes on where the water could penetrate my clothes in a cold windy environment. I'm afraid I'd get hypothermia. And a raincoat isn't something, <clears throat> obviously since nobody mentioned it, is not something that a lot of people think of. They probably already have it in their pack or always carry um, a poncho or something. So it's not, But with me, it's something I have forgotten and I've been lucky and not been caught in the rain. But uh, that, that would be my number one pick would be a raincoat. It's just a small item. It doesn't weigh a lot. And it could really come in handy if you had any rain. doesn't mean I'm right. It's just everybody's got their own opinion. And uh, there's a lot of good answers here. So we've got past that. What's the uh, second item you put in your pack? Something that you absolutely positively would not want to leave without. Second item. Uh, leave some comments on that, and I'll pick out my second item, which will probably be right off the wall, and we'll see where we go with that. Uh, so I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, have a really great day. Bye-bye.